It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. What is going on, everyone? Broken Mike here, and welcome along to the channel. And welcome along to another episode of BUW. This is episode 135, The Fallout, from this past week's Chamber of Mayhem event. So, of course, if you did happen to miss that event, then please do be sure to head on over and give it a watch. And as always, guys, we've got 10 matches for you in total, which will be spread across the next four parts. And we will be kicking things off with a triple threat number one contenders match, where the winner will get a BUW Women's Intercontinental Championship opportunity at Wrestleverse. And our participants are Maria uh, Maria Jones, representing the Broken Psychos, Lily, representing Sister Act, and Chelsea Wayand, who is going to go on to advance to Wrestleverse and face Ray. Let's find out. So if you guys do enjoy this one, then do make sure to leave a like for Mike, slap any comments down below, and please do consider subscribing to the channel as it really, really would help me out. Coming to you once again from London, England with a capacity crowd getting set for some BUW action. The contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Lillian. Making her way down to the ring first. Representing Sister Act, Lily. And what an opportunity this would be for Lily if she can win this triple threat match and go on to Wrestleverse and challenge for her first championship here in BUW. And this is what all three of these ladies are fighting for. This, these three ladies who are about to step foot inside the ring have yet to win a championship here in BUW but have will become one step closer with a win here tonight. Making her way down to the ring next, representing the Broken Psychos, Maria Jones. She's got a huge smile on her face because last time we saw Maria Jones, she came off one of the biggest wins of her career so far by defeating the current Women's World Champion, Alice Sarah. So she may be considered a favourite here. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match. And she is now ready to compete. And from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Shelly Wyatt. And finally, making her way down to the ring, Chelsea Wyatt. The last time we saw Chelsea Wyatt, we... We saw her competing in the Women's Ruthless Rumble match. She uh, had a pretty strong show in. Unfortunately, did not win the match. But as of right now, she's still currently unpinned and unsubmitted. And currently 5-0 in singles competition. Looking to make it 6 here tonight. And advance to the show of shows where Wrestleverse goes Hollywood. And 
here we go this match is underway and remember the first woman to score a penal submission is the winner and of course I have Intercontinental Championship match awaits and look at this a double team you will see uh, strange team ups in these kinds of matchups no DQs no count outs in this one And Maria with a chop block. And what is Maria looking for here? A double knees. Lily with the right hand. There's some kicks. Oh, Maria's got Lily by the throat. And a takedown. And Chelsea now looking to take advantage. Hung up on the top rope there. Lily with the counter. Gut wrench suplex. The lock up between Lily and Maria as Chelsea rolls to the outside. A kick to the knee. Body shots from Lily who's as tough as they come even though she's not the biggest wrestler in the fight. She's got a hell of a wallop on her, that is for damn sure. Millie looking very impressive in, in the first few minutes of this matchup. Lily with kick, a right hand. Oh, wait a second, that got countered into a hip toss. Maria talking smack. Chelsea back in, gets caught in no woman's land. Oh, and. Chelsea gets whipped into Lily. And there goes Maria. Chelsea now. Oh, look at that. Rapid fire left hands followed up with a right. Knee drop to the arm. Hook of the leg. Will this be enough for Chelsea to advance? Just a one count. Maria with a stump, pull her leg snap. And rapid fire right hands from Maria. Lily taking out the equation for now. Down to Maria and Chelsea. Maria sent over the top but lands on the apron. Gets hung out and sent crashing to the floor. Maria able to counter. And Chelsea looking good here and until that point gets called by Maria. Waist lock from Lily. Amateur takedown counts to by Maria. Oh and oh Lily gets DDT'd on the outside. Lily gets well able to catch Maria and catches Chelsea to, in the midsection. Oh, and Liddy goes crashing into the steel steps now. Irish whip, cross ringside, goes Lily. A huge match at WrestleVerse is on the line for these three women. But only one of them can get there. The lock up. And look at Maria carrying Chelsea around like a sack of potatoes. Drop kick to Lily as she re-enters the ring. Double knees for the insult to injury. Maria, is she about to advance to WrestleVerse? No! Two count only and Maria can't believe it. Maria sets up for the P D J and Chelsea kicks out unbelievable and Lily back in the ring snap suplex baseman drop kick to Lily drop toe hold and look at Look, sorry, Maria walking all over Lily, quite literally. 
Chelsea able to counter Lily and look at this tilt the whirl head scissors look at this a lock up between Lily and Chelsea and look at Lily go here driving those knees into the body of Chelsea Wayand Alabama slam from Lily is Lily about to seal the deal here can she do it takes flight the splash hooks the leg and no two count only and Lily cannot believe it Maria able to counter whipped into the corner head first off off the top turnbuckle and get Maria gets caught there of an elbow sit down Matt slam a slap to Chelsea sorry from Chelsea to Lily Maria on the outside down to one on one at the moment and Chelsea who had who kicks on her career with a victory over Lily takes flight diving cross body but I don't think she caught enough of it hooks the leg though it could be enough is Chelsea advancing to wrestle first no two count only and she cannot believe it kick to the midsection looking for that DDT in that unique cover and Maria gets the shoulder up Chelsea can't believe it couple of kicks followed up with a clothesline from Lily will this do it no Lily only gets a two and she can't believe it oh and Alabama slammed to Maria side headlock from Lily Chelsea sent to the outside can Lily capitalize here she could well have done what a move and the cover Lily is going to wrestle first and look at her she's laughing at Maria I've heard us we've heard the term bad loser but there's, there's such thing as bad winners great triple threat match to get this week's episode on the way it could have gone either way <laughs> and even though or anyway here is your winner of the match and the number one contender to the BUW Women's Intercontinental Championship and advancing the Wrestleverse representing Sister Act Lily big congrats to her that's been a long time coming for that young lady And I'm sure that despite the fact that you know Chelsea is part of the losing equation, she did not actually get involved in the decision to lose the match. So she would argue she's still undefeated. But anyway, let's move on to our next matchup. And be a first bit of action from the men's division. And this one is going to be Steven Nitro, a former three time hardcore champion. Gonna go one on one. We have Soldier Demon representing Demons by Design.
here comes one of our favorites. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England. Weighing in at 237 pounds. Steven! Making his way down to the ring first. Steven Nitro. And Steven Nitro, of course, a former three-time BUW Hardcore Champion. Hasn't had the best of luck in in the last couple of months, so to say the least. Last time we saw Nitro, he was involved in the men's Ruthless Rumble match. A competitor with his share of the track. And his opponent from out of this world, weighing in at 222 pounds, the soldier, Demon Mason. Ever since I took my and making his way down to the ring, representing Demons by Design, Soldier Demon. And this young man, he could do with some luck, couldn't he? In his young career so far in BUW, he's had 14 to 15 matches and yet has only won two of them you could say they're probably the most unlucky superstar on the BUW roster right now but WrestleVerse just around the corner anything can happen and these two are quite familiar with each other and here we go of course these two battled over the hardcore championship back in November with three other superstars of course Nitro was going into that match as champion but both these men were eliminated early and at the moment Soldier Demon looking great he can keep this momentum going he could surprise everybody chops some right hands look at him go here a kick to the back of the head of Steven Nitro pulling away at the right arm of Nitro multiple right hands from Soldier Demon take down counter from Nitro oh and look at this not not by the not on the nose just just disgusting you can say no. soldier demon trying to fight back trying to find his way back into this match and if he wins here it could be a turning point in this young man's career what a disaster kick and soldier demon who's got all the ability all the talent in the world to be a huge star in the cover here Will this be a win for Soldier Demon? Just a two count. And he can't believe it. Can the second generation superstar get something going? A beautiful fisherman's brain buster. Shoulder breaker. And stomp on the knee. Soldier Demon top rope. Calling Nitro to his feet. But Nitro could have been too far away. This time no one home. Knee to the gut. 
and a stomp on the arm another stomp on the arm Nitro finding a way back into this match oh my goodness the rip cord knee strike and another rip cord knee strike Nitro top rope Soldier Demon back up a flying clothesline standing moonsault Another rip caught knee strike. This time into the cover. Just a count of one. Bouncing head first off the mat. Kick to the gut. Fisherman's small package. A counter from Soldier Demon. A forearm to the face. Could the comeback be on? Oh, look out. Lovely overhead kick from Soldier Demon. Hook at the leg. A one count and so and Steven Nitro has his hand on the bottom rope and it's a rope break. Stomp on the knee. Right hand. Down goes Steven Nitro. Pulling away at the arm once again. Soldier Demon on the middle rope. Diving sent on. Kick to the gut from Nitro. Whipped into the corner. And Nitro stomping away on Soldier Demon. And there's a counter from Soldier Demon. Nitro right back on the offense. Well, the floats over into a Vulcan arrow. This is anyone's ball game at the moment. Both these two would love to be involved at Wrestleverse. And the uh, alley up and oh, Soldier Demon's down the one knee. Nitro could be closing in. The last shot. Nitro not going for the cover. What is he thinking? For the oh, the curb stomp. This should be all she wrote. Hooks the leg. And Nitro gets the victory. Good effort and a great matchup. Looking back at some of this action. Soldier Demon with a pin attempt here. Rip called the kick out from Soldier Demon. But this was the end, the uh, curb stomp. And poor Soldier Demon, he's a. Like I said before, he's the most unlucky, one of the most unlucky superstars on BUW. But anyway, here is your winner of the match, Steven Nitro. And what a win that is going into Wrestleverse. Could he still have a say? We'll have to wait and see if we will see Nitro at Wrestleverse. incredible match and we've got just about enough time to have one final match before we take our first break and this one is going to be another huge matchup it's going to be a tag match and of course it's a big one because it's a number one contenders match and this one it's going to be Bobby Mondo and TM uh, of course the uh, showstoppers and they'll be taking on the team of Barry Similitude and Papa V the V team and the winner of this match will get an opportunity on next week's show 
to challenge the current BUW Intercontinental Tag Team Champions, David Labby and Joseph Conlin. So a huge, huge opportunity for these two teams for next week. Which one's going to capitalise? their way down to the ring first Bobby Mundo and TM the showstoppers you gotta ask yourself the question what sort of condition is TM in after he competed at in that <laughs> even me to say that hellacious uh, chamber of mayhem match with it when the intercontinental title was on the line he was in the last two with Canigan but he didn't quite get the job done He's got another opportunity here with his teammate Bobby Mondo. A win here, and they'll be challenging the Woos Exclusive Society for the Intercontinental Tag Team Championships. Either way, this match should be good. Making their way down to the ring. Verisimilitude and Papa V. The V Team. In the Agroni last time we saw the V Team. They didn't exactly get the result they wanted. Look at Ferris right there. He wants those Intercontinental Tag Team Championships. If he could do it with his father Papa V. And maybe become the first father's son tag team champions in BUW next week. We'll have to wait and see. Some very similitude and TM both starting it off. Rapid fire rights from TM. And look at TM just choking out very similitude. TM into a cover looking for an early victory. Two count only and TM can't believe it. Top rope, but Veris cuts him off, throws him off the top rope. And look at it. shades of Sergeant Slaughter there, the knuckles right into the each side of the skull. Into the cover here. One count only, and Veris cannot believe it. I'm sure the current Intercontinental Tag Team Champions will be watching on backstage be intrigued to see who they face next week a kick to the gut and must TM go near that oh package net well for a fisherman's net breaker shall we say he's a meter saying there's a tag in both corners Bobby Mondo Papa V two former world champions I can't ever recall if these two have ever squared off Papa V with a lock up and look at that power on show the military press Papa V top rope takes flight the splash
The lock up. And Papa V again has Bobby by the by the throat. He just makes it look easy. Does Papa V. I'm working on the left leg of Bobby. Rapid fire right hands. Oh, on the right hand. Oh. Spinning sidewalk slam from Bobby Mundo. Right hands. A lock up. And that power, the glam slam. Hook of the leg. One count only. And Bobby can't believe it. Attack to TM. Of course, TM as well, another former world champion in his own right. Just walks right into a boot from Papa V. Hooks a leg. Will the V team advance next week to a title match? No. Two count only and Papa V cannot believe it. One minute off the ropes. Leg drop. Hooks the leg. The V team, are they about to advance? No. Two count and again. Papa V cannot believe it. And Papa V has TM by the throat. Oh my god, what a choke slam. Stomp on the knee. Kicks him off. Tag into Bobby Mundo. The lock up. Oh, and Bobby Mundo driving the head into the canvas. Will this be enough? Well, it's a rope break. Bobby with a DX chop directly towards various Militude. Hung up on the top rope. Of course, Bobby uh, is actually a former Intercontinental Tag Team Champion. In his time with the NWO. And Bobby Mondo taking Papa V to Suplex City. Of course, TM, who has been a tag champion, but never the Intercontinental Tag Championships. One of the few titles TM has not won in his career. Stomp on the arm, hook of the leg. Varys with the save. And Varys gets dropped onto his head. Trying to save his dad. And again, look at this. Spinning sidewalk slam. And TM and look at this the showstoppers taking it at a V team has everything in hand wait a second Papa V and the fireman's carry TM needs to get out otherwise it would have been disqualification it's not saying the showstoppers want a right hand after Varys makes a tag. Inverted DDT. Hook of the leg into the cover. One count only. Oh, and a headbutt from Bobby, and I think Varys has been busted open. He has. Look at the state of him. TMing off the tag. DDT. That's not going to make that wound any better. Hooks the leg. One count only, and again, TM cannot believe it. Knee to the face. He's not done. Oh! Good grief. TM to the top rope. Papa V. Oh, what a distraction. Papa V just shoves TM off the top rope. But Tim's right back on the offense looking for a, a pack, small package driver. Ferris Militude looking to take advantage. Hooks the leg as will this be it? Just a one count. Papa V and Bobby Mundo trying to run interference. There goes Papa V sent over the top by Bobby Mundo. 
Oh my goodness. Oh! And TM knocking. Beres off the ring apron with that drop kick. And it's completely broken down here. Oh, another DDT. And all this for a Intercontinental Tag Team title match on next week's episode. Elbow drop to the leg and look at this. Working on the left leg. I can just about see what's going on between Bobby and Papa V. The rolling neck snap on Papa V. Papa V's out for the count. Showstoppers at the moment have a turn one advantage and look at this. That is insult to injure if I ever saw it. Military press. A cover here. And Ferris kicks out at two. Barely kicked out there. There's a tag. In comes Bobby. Kick to the gut. Double underhook. Mundo's wings. And it's a rope break. That's a tough break for the showstoppers. Bobby Mundo with the Bobby Bomb. It's a pump of V. Oh, and wait a second. What's Bobby Mundo doing here? The GTH. The go to hell. This should do it. And the showstoppers on the number one contenders. What a match up that was. That could have gone either way, ladies and gentlemen. And that was a tag team battle if we ever saw one. So nice we get to see that twice. The hook of the leg from Papa V on TM wasn't enough to get them the victory. Just brutal action. Various militant, of course, he will need to get patched up. But here are your winners of the match. And the number one contenders to the BUW Intercontinental, Intercontinental Tag Team Championship. Bobby Mondo and TM, the showstoppers. What are the current champions thinking? David Labby and Joseph Conlin, what's going through their mind? Could the title reign be over in the, in the net, within the next seven days? We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, folks, that is all the time I have for this opening ep uh, part of this week's episode of BUW. If you guys have enjoyed it, then do be sure to leave a like for Mike. Slap any comments down below. And of course, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Because it really, really would help me out. But like I said, folks, we are just getting started here on BUW this week. We have plenty more action still to come. So anyway, folks, do take care, and I will see you all after this first break.